Hello everyone, this is Enzo Hagen of the Alliance for Loki. And this is the second round of Greater Gifting Crystals I'm going to open. You see we still have 11 days left on event. Um, so potentially it could be a lot more. We'll just have to see and I have to think about what exactly is my strategy. So I contacted my alliance. We uh, worked out a way to trade 100 of them. So I traded 100 with various people and then allowed me to do this opening. So it's good to be in an alliance with lots of people who are willing to trade. And that, of course, is uh, one of the key ingredients in this event. And so, um, you know, the greater grifting crystals, I mean, I think the biggest thing people want and what I want out of it is six star shards, six star nexus and six star shards. I think what's undervalued actually, though, is the amount of um, the amount of um, resources you get from this too, um, specifically tier five basic and tier two alpha, especially tier two alpha and the six stones as well. Uh, both the, of course, the six stone, six star stones and the uh, five star ones are both very valuable in this game. And so, so, you know, it's easy to get lost in the, uh, in the six stars. So here's what happens when I open a hundred crystals. So first, when we think about the rank of materials, um, I ended up with a lot of tier five basic this time, five and 11 tier four two alpha which is amazing can never have enough um tier five class catalyst i've talked a lot about how this is a really odd increment but ended up with the most mutant and then um everything else but mystic and then finally the signature stones um so there's basically again two flavors of these so i got 20 of the six star sig crystals which is roughly about three each and then from the plus five you know get a good amount of each the big one is skill so i had a lot of skill last time and this time and then, of course, the one that we most care about are the shards and the nexus. And so this time I had 3.5k six star shards. So that's enough to open three crystals. But I use all the five star shards to make one more. And so these are the four six star crystals I can buy. And so we just wanted to go through these real quick. And again, the characters I'm looking for, always looking for Corvus Glaive. I really want Guardian. I need another good tech or Gilly 299 or a Hulkbuster who floats by. And I end up with a uh, saber tooth. So this is a first time awakening on the saber tooth, which, you know, is good. I mean, if I'm ever going to have him on defense or ever get hit while using him, it, it is his regen. So it's actually very worth it. Um, awaken ability. Uh, the next crystal again, still looking for those those uh, ones I really want. Um, you know, of course, tech is the only one I really don't feel like I have the next rank up on. So I want a good tech. And ended up getting a really good mutant. So this is Havoc. So Havoc is probably right now number three beside Namor and Sunspot. But uh, it could change. Really like Havoc. Awesome champion. Reasonably good on defense too. And just, uh, it's just a really fun champion to play. And so this is the third one I'm doing right here. And, um, ooh, I would have loved that white Magneto. But instead I get Karnak. So Karnak, I believe, is the champion I have pulled the most and so this is all obviously natural sick so he's sick 100 now which i believe that means i've pulled him six times which is uh probably six times too many for him and then last crystal hoping to get one of those ones i really want and oh this was so painful there's guardian oh, but it doesn't stop on guardian it stops at iron patriot I actually just got iron patriot not so long ago and so this is a awakening which is great because it gives him his regen which is of course a really important ability for him and i believe he's going to get a buff soon so he might actually end up being a pretty good pool in the end so that was this round of greater gifting crystals again this event's a lot of fun having a good time doing it and i mean yeah it's really given me a huge amount of resources and six star opportunities so of course it ends up being a very uh very you know powerful event just because you know there's sort of no limit like compared to the cyber weekends or the freedom weekend deals i mean obviously there's a limit i mean this this you can just do it as much as you want as long as your resources can bear so It'll be interesting. I would say I'm probably going to do one more big opening. Um, let me see what the Christmas, if the Christmas deals are any good. And then I'll probably do one more and then we'll see where that places me. I don't think there's any chance to be honest of getting top 30, but I'm hoping maybe getting the next, the next uh, group is possible because the rewards are still pretty good even in that one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back very soon with another one. Bye bye.